Hello everybody, welcome to my round of 16 match against Random Boy um, with his vampires. I need to buy a um, mercenary beastman. He has 14 players. Um, and much like me, he's got four good players and the rest are a bit... I mean, the strength four, thralls all right. Block tackle, okay. He's got a DP, but I'm a six. And then uh, this one it actually isn't so good. Because uh, he's got stand firm and movement five, so he's, he's a bit shit. Um, but the move seven one blodge tackle, strength five one with tap block tackle mighty blow pro jugs, and then a, a blodge step pro edge five with sure feet. <laughs> okay, <laughs> so that's uh, that's his team, and. Uh, and that's mine. I mean, mine looks awful, doesn't it, now, with all these guys dead. This team would be so much better with four more skills on Warriors. But we don't have four more skills on Warriors. Or just another player and a skill on a Warrior. So the, the extra player isn't that bad, you know, at the end of the day. It sucks to spend 10k, but he's like we're, we're basically 20k difference now by getting him. Which, you know, it's kind of a fair game. At the end of the day, obviously, my team's much worse with losing those three great Warriors. But at least he doesn't get a Wizard. So, um, yeah, that's the thing. That's the weakness of Vamps is how slow they are. And then to get a minus move one. Not, not the Stan Firm, it's just the fact he's minus move. Stan Firm obviously helps. Uh, like, Stan Firm's good. But, um, but you know, like, because he could just... He'd sidestep a Stan Firm is pretty much a wash. Um, but, yeah, there's, the move five is pretty bad for him. Um, right. Just Joe, I think, has gone away for a minute. Um, but he will be doing the commentary. Um, yeah, I'm still here for the second. I'm just going to go down and grab some dinner and then I'll be back up to uh, commentate. Okay, thank you very much. Just Joe, I am not going to commentate at all because I'm going to try to uh, I'm going to try to concentrate so I'll not be looking at chat or anything. But still, please don't try to give any advice in chat because it's rebel and that's severely frowned upon. I have no idea what advantage I would get by reading chat. <laughs> but there you go. That's, that's, the pervade, that's the rules. That's the pervading theory that somehow... It's helpful to get advice from chat, but there you go. The best advice is, of course, the sage advice of don't roll shit. Um, hopefully I can follow that, and uh, hopefully Random Boy won't. Right, so there you go. Um, right, I'm out, and Joel, take over. Thank you. Glorious tomato soup and uh, ham sandwiches for dinner. It's, uh, yeah, I think it's good. It's a good sign that he's uh, starting off on the front foot. I think what he wants to do is uh, get some get some early removals. Um, hopefully, he can get some of the bigger targets. The uh, the four vampires, obviously, uh, what he's going to be gunning to uh, try and take out. Um, hopefully, it'll just be a bit of a a slow wait until turn eight stall, caging up, um, and then hopefully he'll have a few players down for uh, his drive, and then Jimmy's just going to try and defend from there. Try and get a one nil, a cheeky one nil before uh, full time. So yeah, I think it's uh, uh, Random Boy was going first and attacking, so yeah. Smart soup is pretty goddamn good. Ça me rappelle la fois où tu as enchaîné tous les techniciens gobelins ensemble pour en faire une masse vivante, juste histoire de tromper l'ennui. Ouais, ça c'était de l'arme de destruction massive. We are 
in Jimmy's stadium. So he has home this game. So uh, the Throw the Rock uh, kickoff event is cancelled, um, which, you know, Jim has obviously had a, a few problems with in the past. Uh, but it's also uh, get the ref. So he'll have a bribe to a uh, foul. So expect to uh, see quite a few fouls from Jim, which I think you'll see him trying to uh, set up a few as well. The dirty players on the pitch, I would, I would think he, he would be. Oh, yes, there, on the right hand side. And obviously, Jim getting the. Uh, well, helps with that. And uh, yeah, Kaz straight away. Yeah, that's a very good start. I think Jim will be pleased with that. Obviously, it's just a, a, a crappy little thrall, but. You know, every, every little bit counts, and. Uh, the dice carry on that way, then uh, this will be an easy match. Obviously, no stranger to playing Vamps. It's kind of like a double screen on the ball. Because, you know, vampires with a hypno gaze and, you know, the. Well, I mean, he has an Adji 5. Vamp as well can dodge through very easily. Get that ball. So uh, I think Jimmy will be sitting back there. Just to try and keep out of range. That's best. It's a, it's a hard, it's a hard um, question to answer. I think when they're around this TV, because you don't want to have them starting off, because when they start off, they're really crap. You get kind of chewed up by mid TV, so I think yeah, higher TV is definitely where vamps want to be, because then they've got the vampires with the skills to be able to do something, like get themselves into a position where. What is elf bullshit, but with vamps? Like vamps have their own special kind of bullshit. Obviously, with copy vamps of blonde and crow and everything like that, that can uh, definitely have an effect. Oh, Dick, I'm Joe. And yeah, you're right, Maridam. You are right. Pretty much exactly what you just said. So, going for the dodge out, will he make it? Who knows? That's his side. He disappointed with his uh, movement five vamp. 
but he does have Blodge and Stamford guard, which means I imagine he's going to be thrown into a lot of uh, situations just to make it a little bit difficult for Jimmy to be able to manage him. Relying on uh, Jim's inability to roll pals is what he'll do with him. <laughs> Wow, three rerolls. I mean, obviously I'm a little bit late to that one, but consider it for a second. Obviously, the, he has four good players on his vampire team. The rest are shithead thralls. And basically what he's done there is given Jim the ability to uh, blitz one of his you know, best players with uh, Claw Matty Blow. Um, so I think, yeah, I think he was right to try and re-roll that because you're not going to get too many opportunities where his vamps are left open just for a blitz to Claw Matty Blow. So, you know, I think I think that was worth a re-roll. I was going to say I'd probably re-roll it, but obviously a bit too late because he already re-rolled. But that's basically the reason. Um, trying to basically base up thralls just to kind of remove him from play a little bit just because they're skillless and shit which you know they, they basically gives random boy two options really to try and kind of keep his vampires safe and back and dodge out a few thralls or he can try and fight Jim and obviously fighting Jim um Well, he has to basically base up with all of his uh, players. And uh, obviously has a chance of not having any effect. Which I think we're about to see the latter of that. Because it does seem like Random Boy is going to uh, base up and try and throw some punches back here. Fails the Hypno Gaze. I'm trying to remove the Chaos Warrior Tackle Zone. Oh, I need dub skulls. Obviously, the reroll from before was uh, pro and not uh, a team reroll, so I still have the team reroll for that double skulls. But yeah, that's a that's a reroll gone down for just a stun. So not the worst outcome there. Want to be rolling good dice is my advice. Help for, isn't it? Hypno gears works. But yeah. Much point in the hypno gears there because he's going to activate him now to stand him back up. But if it had been a push, the hypno gears would have uh, had an effect. So still worth doing. Back up to uh, get back into the uh, get back into the fight. He's going for the uh, bludge stand firm. I think um, Random Boy will choose to stand firm here. I think he'll leave it. Yep. So that Jimmy has to uh, follow up the frenzy to uh, get the piling on. But you want uh, what part of that on? It's a removal, good enough. So far from Jim. Obviously, Random Boy's got a bit of a bench, so he'll have to do more than that. But his bench does consist of just shithead thralls. 
and obviously it's just one thrall being removed. So it'll basically be it's basically remove the vampires or bust is what I'm gonna go with. He's good, I've got to say. Ham sandwich. It's a good dinner, that. It's a good dinner. I mean, I don't condone you calling it a bat, but I do know what you mean by that, so. Yeah. I, I, um. I tend to call them tea cakes or muffins. I mean, I come from a weird place in the UK where I'm kind of bordering everywhere, so. I live in Lancashire, but I'm right on the border of Manchester and West Yorkshire. Where I come from, it's basically a combination of all of them, or at least the ones up north. Allez, les gars, tous ensemble. Oh, and with his uh, strength throw for all, uses a team reroll for it. I don't know. I mean, could you have eaten that? Probably not. I don't think he wanted to let the other hits back on his uh, on his thralls that are based upon that right hand side. I think that was the reason for it. But yeah. <laughs> I'm in the top one percent. Good. Well, uh, maybe we might see a foul here if uh, mm. ice into a foul, possibly. Yeah, Cobb, Cobb's one of those that I don't think we use very much up here. Or at least I've not heard it often. Roll. Tea cake or muffin or something like that. It varies on who I'm actually talking to. I tend to change my dialect with who I know. C'est quoi, Jim? Il y a des pom pom girls qui sont mieux payés que certains joueurs. Ah bon, c'est vrai ça? Mais pourquoi? I've heard brain cakes before as well. That's another one we don't really use, but I have heard of it. It's a little bit weird. Hitting on gears. Oh, but bloodlust and the pro succeeds. Dirty Dino. Oh, we failed a GFI into a stun. Hey, I mean, yep, yeah, could have been worse. Stops the foul on a, is it flat fart? Good old flat fart. Punches back, which obviously results in a double skull. Standard Jimmy, well done. Oval on a throw, so worth the reroll. You could, you could say. It helps this drive surely, but in the long run, doesn't really have much of an effect. And I think we'll definitely see a dirty play foul. Was a dirty play, dirty play foul on the uh, vampire. I think you'd be ridiculous not to. Yeah, he's gonna get an absolute boot to the face. Oh no, he's moved his dirty play. 
I'd boot him. Player. Who knows? I, I, I just see a, a, a vampire land on the floor and I'd instantly want to kick it in his face, so. How are you doing? I'm filling into the gym while he's concentrating on his rebel match. You've not missed much, to be fair. Uh, Jimmy's had made two removals. Uh, well, two Kaz and uh, one KO. Is KO the uh, movement five stand firm blodge oh. vamp, which is very good. Get out for the next half. <laughs> yeah, that's the length. Well, lengths, manx, like pretty much anywhere around here, would you see someone line up for you and want to kick their head in? No, I'm definitely not a violent person. I've been in an actual proper fight. You know, one that wasn't actually planned or whatever. I mean, it's just uh, Blood Bowl 2 is all I need for my violence. I mean, look at this. Yeah, really. Removal now because he's got no removal skills whatsoever. Just gym luck. Choosing where to chain now, I think. Um, chain, yeah. You don't you don't want to chain your uh, vamp back a little bit more because it just makes the foul easier later on. Oh, and another double skull. I tell you what, we've seen a fair few double skulls this match. Is that a three so far? For some a one in nine? Couple, well, a couple of one in nines. That's been re-rolled as well. So, uh, random boy down to uh, one team re-roll. Same as Jim. Three, I think. Maybe more. Maybe I've missed another one. Well, I was eating my soup. But yeah. Who'd have thunk it? One in 36 has happened. You should plan to not... You know, so you should plan ahead so that you don't roll a 1 in 36 and lose the game. Because they do happen. That throw was called fuck voice. <laughs> nice. Know exactly what Jim's planning yet. Um, that vamp there is uh, strength five, so he needs to stand up another player for an assist for uh, a blitz on them. A blocks, which yeah, obviously he's going to go for the vamp. Why would you not? He gets the paddle. Let's see what happens. Ça ressemble furieusement à un vieux spectacle traditionnel d'Estalie. Um, dirty Dino. The uh, ball carrying an assist to the foul. He will foul. Oh, 
Well, if the uh, foul doesn't work and armor isn't broken. Ça sent la bonne grosse poignade. <laughs> Gotta get the run up in there. There it is. Come on. One of the even broke armor if uh, yeah, the ball carrier stood there as well, so that's good. At least, yeah, that's good. Not a classic gym foul, but uh, he's gonna have to uh, knock him down again now. With tackle, plenty of tackle there, so not entirely unreasonable to knock him down again. But still, more more work required now for that. Oh, you know, at very least wanted a stun, just so they can get the opportunity to foul again. I mean, he's moved forward here. I think he's moved forward in the hopes that he can capitalise on the uh, other stunned uh, vampire up in the uh, top left. And that vampire as well. Maybe he can uh, shut them both down. Leaving him nowhere to go. try and dislodge the ball this turn I think it's just a case of uh, maybe falling back and uh, regrouping but if he does that he does leave his uh, vampire as I said to uh, being left to the slaughter so I think he'll want to try and fight back as much as he can it does not look easy Gets the pout. No arm break though. And the bloodlust. Will the pro work? Used it. Or does he have does he not have pro? I can't see the uh, skills. No, he doesn't have pro. Okay. So he's eating the one, so he'll uh, he'll be eating a throw. Nice push. To eat that throw. And fuck voice is KO'd. Nice. <laughs> Obviously just a shithead throw, but the removals are now, I think, on par to his uh to his bench. Can't quite see. And my stream is buffering. Bear with me. Okay, it's back. Okay. I shouldn't be too far behind. That's alright. Re reload it. Roll that. I think you just eat the skull there. Clavius has no skills, no kill skills at least. So, uh... oh, he does re roll it. This all in on this play. Jim obviously chooses the push. So he's going to get the chin here. Now can he get the. Uh... Oh. Or maybe he doesn't want the ball to go into the crowd. I thought maybe he was going to try and go for the uh, scatter into the crowd. Jeez, so he gets the one dice uh, knocked down and uh, his sheer hands. 
Random boy putting up a fight here. Four plus catch. I don't know why he left it so long. Wait for sleepless. Exit. Another two plus. Way. Does have sheer feet. Maybe I'll try the GFIs. I don't think they're pointless. I don't think there's a point. So, the ball is now on a bludge step. And G5 uh, vamp. And yeah, I don't think that could have gone much worse for Jim, if I'm honest. I think he got very lucky with his red dice. Uh, choosing to reroll, that was a very risky play. Thinking as well. Got a 2-3. Maybe, I mean, I, again, that's what I've theorized from it. He didn't want the ball to go into the crowd. He wanted it to kind of scatter. Maybe into a free square, or he knew that it'd only be like, you know, a three plus or a two plus for him to pick it up in a tackle zone. I remember, so uh, he's got that option. Also, gonna make, uh, also could have taken a two plus to make the uh, blitz 2D. Yeah. I don't know, I'd have to go back and look at it to see what a, bit, a better play would have been. It has paid off. That's the thing, but I don't think it was done in the best way. I thought that was. I think it was incredibly lucky that that's. Uh, that that's what's happened. I think Jim's going to try and um, free up some uh, tentacle players now. Uh, get the tentacle players down the pitch. Face him up. Hopefully, he won't get away from it. Um, hit no gears in, or otherwise. Side step, easy, right? Okay, Jim's still in this. It's a good turn to do it on as well because we have got uh, two turns left after this turn. Going to do something here. Not getting an armor break though. I, I think that was a mistake. Not armor breaking there. So uh, I think we'll see a foul. Just to push on the vampire up top. What about that, I don't think. Run up as well. Got to do the full run up. Otherwise it doesn't count. Yeah, exactly. I think he, he uh, risked the ball going into the crowd. I guess I was coming from the perspective that you know, they always scatter backwards. I think, you know, if they'd have gone back the other way, they'd have been, you know, knackered. So, they wanted to keep the ball in play there. Especially with an Agi 5 where he can make something happen. It lands in tackle zones, which is obviously what happened. Yeah, always armor breaks. Yeah, Moridan, this is uh, it's obviously put Jim way further back than he needs to be right now, but it's not impossible. Jimmy does have a reroll. Hopefully, he'll uh, make the pick up. I think we'll see a handoff. The thing that uh, Random Boy's got going for him at the moment is that he has got two vampires further up the pitch now to try and maybe stop the score again. Uh, obviously, the stun on the uh, on Donald Trump, as I think he was named, is a. Uh, I mean, that was my recommendation to make sure you break armor on him. So uh, yeah, that was the right play. Red but you know it's 
part of the glorious game of Blood Bowl. Ce ballon a l'air complètement à plat. Quand est-ce qu'ils vont le remplacer Je te vois venir gros comme une maison, Bob. Soufflez dans le ballon hein <rire> Pas question que je te relance la tête en vie. Qu'est-ce qui se passe là-bas Ce joueur a semblé qu'il pliait ses mains au vestiaire. So, re-roll, but at least he's got the ball in hand. Um, not what Jimmy would have wanted, but... With the re-roll left for the last turn, but hopefully just won't need it. Can just roll that three plus. So it's gonna have to be just a naked three plus to score. In the best case scenario as well. Yeah, plus movement vampire is pretty huge. And the armor break. Uh, secure the touchdown for next turn. Two scoring threats now. The boy has the ability to be able to deal with both. Might see some dodge outs here from some throws, some risky uh, last ditch plays from uh, Random Boy, maybe. He's not here, Hallis. Jim's muted while uh, he plays his rebel game because he's trying to concentrate. So I've uh, I've taken over as a uh, commentary. So you can uh, you can say that to him later when he's back on after the game. Le combat paraît inévitable. <laughs> and, uh, one of uh, Jimmy's scoring threats, which is good. what name that was join control yeah and all right panic <laughs> oh. yeah yeah we all we all hope he wins um random boy is a good coach though he'll uh, definitely give jim a run for his money type to uh, ever give up give up never i think is uh, random boy's uh, slogan not like uh, tony give up sometimes <laughs> You're going for fair enough, <laughs> Tony. Yeah. Yeah. Sometimes. For fuck's sake, Tony! Stop being shit. Yeah, is Jimmy the biggest room for his money? Un voyageur du temps infecté par la pourriture de la gueule qui se promène dans l'histoire et contamine tout le monde. C'est du bon, mais c'est un peu capillotracté parfois. I definitely recommend that he rolls better. Just, just my opinion. So Jimmy will have some dice to roll in if he wants to get the touchdown this, uh, this, this drive. Um, great without any re-rolls.
that, that's kind of why I stopped playing Blood Bowl 2, to be honest, or at least in a competitive sense. Like, I still enjoy the game. I, you know, I, I'd play it for fun, but that's exactly it. I just, I can't. Starts for CCL, I'm exactly a 50% coach. Which means that I've learned enough to know how to play the game. I'm obviously, I'm, I'm somewhat bested sometimes by uh, people who are better coaches, but most of the time it's dice that decide it. I either roll good dice or roll bad dice and I win or lose. It's just, I'm 50-50. It either goes bad or good for me. Because I've got the skill to be able to make the plays. I'm not just past that curve where I can make, like, you know, even the, the even better plays to fully maximise my dice. Or, uh, you know, bring myself back from the brink if I'm losing. Or, you know, players removed or whatever it is. Yeah, yeah I agree. Like, doing this, commentated on it is fine. You know, you can quite, uh... Quite, uh, quite easily. Especially with no stake in the matter, you know. Yeah, Hallis, but I mean, um, a lot of my wins probably come from coaches that aren't that great from concedes and things like that. It's against the best coaches. So it'd be impossible to say, unless I played in a league that only consisted of coaches that were, you know, at least Sim, like you know, at least above fifty percent here. Uh, but I'm not. Like even in CCL, especially in later seasons now, with it being the first option. Um, you know, you just you're not having you not you're not getting that fair playing ground, are you? You're up against coaches that have probably never played blood ball before, or played ten matches. I'll going to decide what do you think he's going to need to do to win points, strength, weakness, etc. Jimmy's strengths are definitely the fact that he's got, you know, quite a lot of kill skills here. Uh, he's got tentacles, which, you know, not always the best against vampires, but will definitely serve some kind of purpose, especially for the, the thralls, man, just tying those up. Um, if he scores this, then he'll be in a very good position, uh, which he doesn't, obviously. Jim. But um, I don't. I don't think this game's over just yet. Um, hopefully, boys, vampire will stay out in the KO box. Only gets one chance for it to come back. Now the thing is, if Jim had scored, he'll have two chances, two rolls to be able to get his vampire back. Now he only gets one. So that's a plus for uh, Jim in the next uh, in the next half. And then hopefully from there he can just. You know, get some hits on the vampires and, uh, yeah, try and make some removals. Because KOs in the next half are going to be amazing. Yeah, well, I mean, this will go into uh, this will go into overtime. Burner, it's a round of 16. So, uh, it's going to very much depend on who gets the, uh, the toss for that one. Because, obviously, you don't want to be defended against vampires in overtime. Oh, and he does get the vamp back, of course. So basically, Jim's done fuck all in the first half, as 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 I could have probably guessed. Um, I think, yeah, I think he was very unlucky to lose the ball. Um, I think that red dice reroll was a very cheeky reroll, but I think Random Boy also had to do something a little bit cheeky to be able to um, get to Jim's ball. You know, he was going for the win with that reroll. And I don't dislike it. I just think it was lucky. Do you know what I mean? Like I'd have probably made the same roll. Uh, yeah. yeah I think his uh, I think his chaos didn't come back right. I don't know if Jim can hear me. If he can go down to the bottom left and show me his box. Uh, KO didn't come back. Because I don't see it on the pitch. Unless I'm being blind. He lost his sure hands, didn't he? 
Because but it would it'd help to have a ball carry if he's gonna go into overtime anyway. Yeah, exactly, Femi. He could have been a winning player. He did get away. Imagine if Jim didn't roll the pals to get him. He could have dodged out, scored 1-0 to the Vamps. Half 1-0 down to the Vamps and then trying to turn them over to uh, to get the draw. Yeah, that's not looking great for Jim. So I don't think this is the worst position to be in, but it's not a great one. the number of players I think it's just about if you can get rid of the vamps any any hit you can get on the vamps now is just it's gold dust really because you know you, you get rid of one like kind of KO or even a stun for a turn is going to be huge because it's going to slow him down to the point where he's he's not making any progress forward um, see what happens obviously you know obviously the players to try and stop him scoring like, I mean I'd have to say that but it's how long he can hold it off for it now and uh, whether or not he can make some removals along the way. Right? <laughs> no, I'm into it. Uh, I'm, I'm rooting for Jim. Basically because, I mean, I'm commentating on his uh, channel. So I <laughs> can't be shit if I didn't. But, uh, yeah. Random boy's a good coach, though. You, you, can't, you can't take that away from him. Um... First half not so well. Jimmy was on offense and uh, well, basically got uh, stopped by the Vamps, so uh, didn't score on his drive. So now defending against what is essentially a full team of Vamps didn't really. The removals he's made haven't really made an impact because Random Boy still has the same thralls back. He had a bench. Happens though, see how this uh, this all plays out. Done well on rolling the pros. I've got to tell, I've got to give him that. I mean, rolling the four pluses on the pros to uh, stop the blood loss has been amazing. Does get an armor break, just a stun on Clavius. Rolling the pals here. Down. That's, I mean, yeah, Spaff Biscuit just about staying in. Got old Spaff Biscuit. Yeah, I definitely want to keep hold of his dirty player. Stun on him's not too bad, but, you know, not the best. You might have seen a foul from Random Boy there. Um, it's not the best foul, but to foul the dirty player with a bribe wouldn't. I don't think I'd hate it. I don't think I'd love it either, but I don't think I'd hate it. Only two assists, that was a problem with it. Uh, yeah. Stunned already. I think if it had not been stunned, maybe it had had a, a cheeky pop. I think Jimmy's just decided here who to go for, which vamp to try and blitz. Base up here, try and cut off the thralls from the vampires and single out the vampires for blitzes. Kind of just hope that... Uh, I think he just hopes that he scores early, forcing him to score early, maybe. For removals, because then Jim will have a, a chance to get his uh, ball carrier back, and then... Score again for the uh, draw. Hopefully, with the toss for overtime. Ces joueurs sont tout proches. Le combat paraît inévitable.
the uh, oh, random boys strength five uh, is uh, strength five. So can't use uh, is it flat fight for the frenzy because you'll get uh, get yourself into a frenzy trap. So we've got to be careful with that one. There we go. Based. No, it's not hope don't base. This is a quite sensible base if you ask me because it, it ties him up. Basically leaves him with one option. Which is to run the ball down, pass it, and then try and run off as a bank. Ace. Hi, we are. It's Jim's ability to uh throw back punches. Next turn. Nope. Nope. Open doping where you've basically got no skills or you're basing or block or whatever and you're just praying basically. Uh, it's Herp Derp. Herp Derp. Base, base, base. This won't fail. I'm on the right. Excellent. Boop, I'm probably boop, talking boop. over it right now. Okay, I think I think it should have ended now. I don't know. <laughs> I can't I can't hear it because I got my stream muted, so I don't hear myself. Non, non, c'est une fragrance. Rien à voir avec du parfum, Bob. Tu aimes? Ça s'appelle. Ginger cunt. Fucking Jack. Definitely, uh, definitely not a herb dope though. Having tackle is the first skill. I think that's what Jimmy's severely lacking here is the uh, the amount of diamond tackle he doesn't have. Fails a hit no gaze, but uh, re rolls it with a su another successful pro. Slog for uh, the amount of successful pros he's rolled because I think he might have failed one so far <laughs> out of like eight. <laughs> I know, I, I don't think I've ever seen Pearl putting in so much work. He, he has been lucky with that. Uh, rolls 1 in 9, uses the team re roll. So, down to 3 now. There. Uh, still gets the power up. Uh, get us some severe knockdowns there. No, it's not looking great. Corona is KO'd. Uh, the distance is ending. Then. Uh, can I go back outside? I just put pro on everyone. That's that's a that's a pro strategy right there. Just give everyone pro. And there, I think he's more of an asset stood up. If you ask me, but I don't know, Jim. Jim, maybe, maybe, maybe. I mean, I love the piling on. I do love the piling on. I just don't think it's worth it on a shit head throw. I think having your strength force stood up. 
strength four stood up is a lot better than piling on a shit head throw. It's, it's hard though, it's hard not to press that piling on button. It is hard not to click it. I think sometimes it is better not to though. I do love it though. I mean, if I'd have been in that situation, I'd have probably given in and pressed it. <laughs> like, the longer I thought about it, the more I'd want to press it, so yeah. I've got to admire Jim for uh, the restraint there. Yeah, exactly, Mario Dam. I think he did. I think he. Uh, I think he died a little bit inside. He died a little bit inside there. Uh, some plates in it, but yeah. But also, maybe it would have been worth being on the ground. Oh, it's all right. He's okay. He's good. Still alive. He fails a pro. Yeah, I thought it'd have been 136 to fail that pro the way rate he's been going with it, but yeah, fail pro. Oh, please. Dunk it. <laughs> Responsibilities is KO'd. So, a few removals now. Jimmy's still missing his sure hands. Um, stop him from scoring here. I think he is just free on this right hand side to uh, mosey on down to uh, the end zone. But um, there's, apart from Jim's move seven beast man. Oh no, he's not move seven, is he? He's move busted as well. So he's never move seven. Fucking idiot. <laughs> yeah. His move six, it just looks like his move seven. It just looks better than what he actually is. You should have like an X through it. It should be like a line through it so you can tell that it's not there anymore. You know what? And shit, I'm saying it's just looking pretty clear down this uh, right hand side. You can see that uh, Random Boy is kind of committing to this right hand side now. So I think that's where you'll see him go down eventually. Yeah. Maybe his thralls down there now. So he's slowly making his way down there. He's too early to score, I agree with that. I'm saying he's just making his move down that right-hand side. And there's not a lot, not a lot that Jim can do to stop that. So this turn... Just try and counter it, but who knows. Who knows. I started to make some backwards movement, though. That's for sure. Yeah, G Cell, I mean, you don't want to score too early because you don't want to give Jim too many turns to uh, stall. Maybe even try and uh, score and then. Uh, in, in regular time. So you want to leave it so it's just the option for Jim to uh, draw. And then as Vamps, you're probably hoping that you win the uh, toss. Possible. Um. Because obviously now with the stall, random boy will win if he scores, you know, the last turn. Because Jim's not got much chance of uh, scoring one turn. So that's going to be the ultimate game plan. Obviously, if Jim puts a bit of pressure on him. Has to change that. Yeah, yeah, he's definitely going to score if he has to. Here we go, double GFI. Fails the first one. Pretty standard, Jim. Pretty standard. Could have talked. Does get the knockdown, though. Yeah, you always hate to fail the first one. Is in scoring range. Doesn't mean he has to do a GFI, though. Um, I don't know if they'll go for it. Possibly will. I don't think there's much room to uh, make this uh, ball safe. Oh yeah, that's definitely what he's trying to do, Hollis. Uh, definitely going to try and uh, force that score, but they can, uh, can clutch out the stall for another turn, maybe. 
um, a vampire, wasn't it, that got KO'd? I believe. Yeah, it was, wasn't it? Power up -ord. Into a stun, right? I don't know if this base is all too worth it, to be honest. Does make it, though. though what you've got to remember is power up i don't think he actually gives a shit about most of his team that's the thing like you're more than likely going to cast thralls but who gives a fuck about thralls you, you give a fuck about vampires and vampires uh you know your most valuable asset for the game so you want them around for the game a ko means they could be fucking out for the rest of it you want them on the pitch so yeah i don't i don't disagree with the power up there doesn't want to risk being down a vamp full stop, I don't think. I just think that, yeah, keeping vamps on the pitch is needed. Bale's a pro. One in nine into a one in nine. Nice. So another vamp off the pitch. Jim G. See you later. That, that was pretty lucky there. Um, so basically, if you don't know what's happened there, he's bloodlusted, which means he rolled one. Uh, failed his pro reroll, which means he can't reroll it now. And uh, yeah, he's uh, basically on his block. He's rerolled his uh, one in nine block into another one in nine, which means he can't buy a throw now. And uh, yeah, he has to leave the pitch. So there you go, he's off. See you later. And yes, that does mean it's a turnover. So yeah, Jim. I mean, yeah, that that that. Uh... <laughs> Get off my fucking scenario. bitch, prick! <laughs> Possibly. I don't know if uh, we'll see the uh, surf. Jimmy has got plenty of tackle. Don't roll dub skulls now, dickhead. Oh, don't fuck up just after he's fucked up. <laughs> Well, not fucked up, but don't roll bad dice after he rolled bad dice to get you where you are, you moron. Roll better! <laughs> Capitalise on this, for fuck's sake. Perhaps getting a little bit excited there from the uh Wow, gets the pal straight up. But takes the push. What a dirty Dino. <laughs> Three surf, yeah, that was pretty greedy actually. Have to say. But Fire off the pitch. <laughs> Get off my pitch. Jimmy, obviously bitch, knowing prick. that uh, a non-skilled pal <laughs> probably means he stays on the pitch. Whereas this means, uh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, as I was, uh, was going to say, this basically wins in the game. It basically wins in the game because it, he's only got one vampire now. Oh, no, two vampires, sorry. Because he had power up the only one, other one, didn't he? So. Position. These scatters, wow. Feels bad, man. Yeah, exactly. Just wanted the vampire off the pitch. Pick up. See what he can do now with these, uh, well, this one, one vampire. One vampire can still do quite a bit. But the vampire left is move busted. He's only movement five, which means that, uh, yeah. Deal with, uh... Not a lot of movement to go and get this ball.
Yes, yeah, Ben. I've... Down the reroll. I think it was an obvious play to make if he still had the reroll, but you, using it for that double skull in the beginning, it made it a little bit more sketchy than what it could have been. You know what I mean? It was the biggest payoff, and I think Jimmy needed the big payoff to claw this back, maybe. Big pack, man. He is knocked down. So, lost, lost movement squares there. Makes it movement two, doesn't it? Which means he has four tiles to build to. Four, four movement tiles with GFIs. Yeah, bludge stand firm. Let him right, Femia. He is bludge stand firm. Amazing. Oh, oh, oh. yeah. Tries the one die splits to get that throw free and gets himself stunned. See you later. This has got to be it now. Vampire's not even stood up. Jimmy, stop rolling shit. How many double skulls is that now? Six or seven. Maybe even eight. Um, all this turn. Um, obviously now the pickups, no reroll left whatsoever. Because <laughs> Jimmy went for a one in, <laughs> a one, a one in thirty six. Block. That uh, he did roll another double score. But you can never discount it. But the ball is pretty secure here. <laughs> Jimmy, for fuck's sake. Just another double skull. Alright, I think we're up to like 10 of them now. But the ball is in three tackle zones. The vampires Cunting. are down. Cunt of a fucking shit. If they are getting the ball, they're not fucking going very fucking far. So, cunt. yeah. Fucking Jimmy's problem now cunt. is he has no rerolls and uh, he's got to get the ball into the end zone cunt before, uh, before time runs out. Otherwise, he's got another, uh, another drive of this in overtime. Yeah, just a bit of drama. Yeah, exactly, Muppet Pac-Man. He, he won't be happy. This isn't looking good. Um, still three turns left after this, so not impossible with where the ball is, but Random Boy's going to respond here, and uh, let's see what he can do. Feels bad, man. Il vient au secours de ce joueur. Ça va faire mal. Allez, on pousse encore. Is uh, plus Adji is back on his feet now. I don't know if I, uh, if I like this throw, just basing this basement at the line. I get I get what he's trying to do, but I think. Where Jim's position now, he's going to be going further up the field. So I'd, I'd, I'd like that throw a little bit further up to try and help out. Allez, les gars, tous ensemble. 
God, it's good how Frenzy works on Stamp Firm. I don't like that plan though, Hellas. I like trying to go for the winning, you know, in normal time. You don't want to be, you don't want to be risking it on overtime. He obviously fouls on this, so wants him off. And gets the injury. Gets the injury. No long-term effect. He's just off the pitch. No regen, which is amazing. Which means he definitely won't be back if there is any overtime. Possibly, Random Boy could only have one, uh, one vampire if uh, it goes to overtime. Which could be huge. Yeah, I mean, I don't think you would have... Uh, <laughs> another cheeky double skull. Which means that we probably are going to go into overtime. I mean... If, at this point, because... How many double skulls have been rolled? You should be prepared for them. <laughs> I guess with double skulls, like with the dice, you, you're going to roll snakes, and there's not much you can do with snakes when you've got an re roll, so dice are going to fail either way. No matter what he did. A lot of the du double skulls have been on Jim's end as well. I don't think they've been quite proportionally distributed. I think Jim's had the brunt of the double skulls now. Another double skull. <laughs> this is amazing. Yeah, the edge advice just fucking roll better. He just decided this. So both of them now without rerolls. Yeah, you just gotta suck it up and uh, try and fucking roll better, eh? Out for him, commentating while he concentrates on the game. Just so we're clear. Keep both down. Right, well, yeah, he's got to deal with the thrall. Uh, the thrall has just fucked off down the pitch. Random boy has one turn here. <laughs> I think Jim just has to maybe deal with this threat. I don't know if, I mean... It's hard because Jim can either try and get himself into a scoring position, try and really go for the uh, winning full time, or he just has to go and deal with this scoring threat. Yeah, that's taken a long turn, Hallis. I mean, this is what I'm saying. I mean, when Jim looks in a good position, I'm saying he has to capitalize on it because, yeah, as I said, Random Boy can still do something here. So he has to get an armor breaker. He is still uh, he is still in scoring range there. Uh, obviously, if he moves the tentacle down, that's going to make it very hard for him to do. But there's still a chance, if you will, which I think Random Boy will take. I think Jimmy choosing not to move down there just so that he has another square. With the uh, tentacles. Yeah, squirrel dude. I mean, that's that's what I'm saying. I don't. 
I don't know why you wouldn't move in one, one square down and to the left. Bit further up, I don't know. I'd, I'd have moved him down so he was trapped, if you will, because he's, he's led down, isn't he? So they only got one option to where to go. Straight down, which puts him twice three tentacles. Yeah, could have blitzed him over the top. Yeah, yeah, he could have done. Oh. Yeah, I don't think that was played the best by Jim, I'll be honest. Job, though. Whew. It looks like we are going to overtime. Yeah, definitely not bait, Mongoose, because bait means that if he makes it, he might score and win, win the entire game. So I don't think it's bait. I don't think I don't think Jim would do that. I just think Jim hasn't quite realised when he's back. Yeah, overtime is scary. It's going to very much heavily come down to the uh, coin flip, which most overtimes do. KOs are going to be massive. Obviously, um, the vampire is going to come back that you know removed itself because that's only in the uh, in the subs box. So. Vampires. He is down vamps, but he's not out with vamps, and that's the problem. Just been a bit, bit of a mistake from Jim. Just going for three dice here, by the looks of it. Try and remove another thrall. Don't need to do that. So that's another KO for Jim. Yeah, probably. Um, I'd say so. I I don't know the reason as to why you would do it. But yeah. Hello, Sir Pickles. Do possibly, yeah, and I, I know what he's saying. He gets four KOs back. I think that's just the throw that's led down. So he's got his vamp back. Um, so yeah, up to three vampires for overtime. Let's see who gets the uh, offense. Jimmy gets the offense. Glorious. Yeah, winning the toss is pretty big. Uh, it doesn't guarantee him the win by any means, but it, yeah, it's, it gives uh, Jimmy the advantage. His shirt hands is still out, um, so he won't have that for the drive. So Jimmy, again, being very unlucky with his KOs. Random Boy being extremely lucky with his KOs, and yeah. How many players is Random Boy on now? 3, 6, 9, 10. I think he's on 10 players. Yep. This is 10. Yeah, 10 versus 10. So pretty even, and especially now he's, he's still got his strength for a thrall and three vampires. So, I mean, Random Boy's still looking pretty good pretty good here. Both teams are out of reroll, so, I mean, that leaves them even on that front. So, yeah, it's going to basically come down to removals from this. Hopefully, Jim can get some more knockouts or has even. Uh, yeah. It's uh, Just Joe. Uh, my name's Just Joe. Um, I mean, I do have a Twitch, but there's no point me linking it. I don't stream all too often. Um, and I don't stream Blood Bowl all too often either. Harley Joe, yeah. I've got a picture I can send you, Chimp. That's quite funny. Hey, Jim. I, 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 want, I want enough people to be able to get the joke before I post it, I think. It's quite niche at the moment. Right, let's see what happens. Which is a lot of rerolls for him. <laughs> Essentially, just counting his free rerolls the entire game. 
Oh, the P Diddy. Perfect defense. Feels bad, man. What would happen if it went to kicks and there was a fire, Joe? Well, I mean, if there's a fire, I have to go. I'd have to leave the commentary. That, that, that's just what I'd have to do. No, I'd have to leave it. Like, I can't not. I can't not show up because of blood ball, unfortunately. Um, to uh, getting called out to fires and having to just quit, concede, which is a bit crap. I even, uh, I even conceded. My only game against Artemis, I had to concede it to getting caught out to a fire, and uh, I was winning. I was, uh, I was about to score, uh, and I was doing damage to his team. I think you were playing orcs or something, or I were playing orcs. I know, I know there were orcs involved, but yeah. It's Artemis, and uh, he got called off about three quarters into the first half. I have to, I have to leave, even in CCL games. Minty. Uh, stay at home and be an on-call firefighter. It still means that when there's an emergency, I still have to go. Yeah, I know, right? I mean, to be fair, I don't play Blood Bowl all too often now. I've not played it. I've not played in CCL for a couple of seasons now. It's not like I ever went for um, the playoffs in CCL either way. To play that many games. Like fire, I think it's amazing. Another double skull, Jesus, into a stun. For fuck's sake, Tony! Jimmy, uh, stop uh, being shit! Just stop. <laughs> shit. The sage advice, yeah, don't roll shit, Jim. Like, you, you said that at the beginning, don't roll shit, and here you are rolling shit. Like, you've only yourself to blame at this point. I definitely recommended rolling better. There's been so many of those. I think the game has been heavily decided by double schools. I think if we'd have seen one or two double schools, Jimmy had been win well. He'd have probably already won this by now. I think the amount of double schools that we've had have definitely uh, decided this to uh, go in random boy's favor. At least keep him in the uh, keep him in the game longer. I mean, the, the the RNG of it is just basically. A, I mean, the way it works is there's basically a dice log, isn't there? That's created for the game. So each dice is already kind of predetermined for the entire game. But it's the, the order that they're rolled in. So it doesn't matter what dice you roll, whether it's block dice or armor dice or whatever it is. The number's already decided. It just basically pulls from that data. So yeah, they must have just been generated a lot of ones together. Like double one, double one, double one. Oh, there's been more than four. There's been more than four now, Alice. News just in. Dice guy. Uh, dice game heavily, uh, heavily affected by dice. Yeah. Who'd have thought it? Yeah. Well, I mean, I mean, it's confirmation bias, though, isn't it? So. If you think about it this way, Random Boy has rolled a few double uh, double skulls as well. He also rolled double uh, one in nine to get his vampire sent off. So I mean, Random Boy hasn't been without his uh, own bad dice, but he's also had good dice in the side of him rolling pro all the time and it working. Do you know what I mean? You know, what one person's bad dice isn't the other person's good dice. Is the way that you should look at it. So while Jimmy's been rolling shit. Random boy hasn't been rolling particularly amazing. I don't think he's been rolling badly, but I don't think he's been, you know, I don't think it's been crazy. What, uh, random boy's been rolling. An extra shit. Well, no, I mean, about average shit for Jimmy. Oh, Jimmy's probably, yeah, I'd say Jimmy's probably tilting right now because, I mean, how could you not be? With all those double schools, it's kind of hard to play the game properly because, you know what I mean, it just gets fucked up by 
just a dice roll. Like, you know, he had block there against non-block. You, you expect to make that block or at least get a push. You know what I mean? That's what good players tend to do is they tend to make the players around rolling pushes and, you know, um, accounting for having to use a re-roll. You know, so you maximise your odds, but odds when you're literally just rolling double skulls all the time. Yeah, but I think he's looking pretty goddamn bad. We called that before the game burner. We called it. We, you know, we already said that random boy rolls really good dice. And that's probably going to be a factor. Yeah, I can't wait to see the log of this game to see how many double skulls are actually rolled. It's over 10 now, definitely. Um... I'm going to say 12. Not bad. Not bad. Not bad. Not bad. There'll be goblins, yeah. I mean, the thing is, that, that that's... That's what it is, though, isn't it? Because... Why is a good coach? And a good coach mixed with good dice. Yeah, can yeah, result in, you know, winning, basically. Yep, yeah, so failing the pick up there, it's easy for him to uh pick up the ball now with a vamp and uh, dodge out and score. I think that's pretty much GG now. Um Yeah, oh, watch. shit dice from Jim. <laughs> My God! <laughs> Do you know what the worst thing about this is? The fucking the the gate that like the dice log doesn't fucking show double skulls that weren't re-rolled, so you can't even see from the dice log how many double skulls there were. So they're gonna, right, to, oh. gonna have to re-watch it and count them. <laughs> said I, I said I think it's about twelve, maybe. I want to I want to say it's definitely above ten. <laughs> it's been a fucking lot. <laughs> His pros just worked. His pros just worked into picking up the ball. <laughs> I feel like he's rolled less less pro failures than I've rolled double skulls for sure. Has I think he's made I think he's failed like two or three or something like that of like mm. easily over ten that he's rolled. Insane. Yeah. I mean he was super super unlucky with the uh, <laughs> with the block that he uh, that he didn't get the push on, but um. Fucking cunting. Fuck's cunt sake. Fucking shithead. But I mean that's fans, isn't it? Like. Cunt. Is, is, I mean, obviously, cunt. I was saying when you were cunt, fucking you, beast. When, when his vamp got sent off for uh, not biting a thrall, like, you know, the bloodlust. Yeah. Uh, like, obviously, you were gonna blitz a player, and then you rolled that double skull, and it was like, you know, looking like you weren't gonna get the uh, ball carrier, uh, and then everyone was saying it was a bit like, you know, like greedy, but a bit like, you know, sceptic that you went for the surf rather than just taking the pal. Yeah. Um, but I, I said, like, you know, I thought, obviously, he just wanted the, the vamp off the pitch because that clears him for the drive then. You know, you weren't yeah. expecting... Oh, yeah, to I had to remove him, yeah. We're going for uh, the win with that play. Yeah. Well, I, didn't, I didn't hate it. Um, obviously, the scatter was a bit... Oh, a bit better. It was nearly good, yeah, good. exactly. The scatter, I mean, the scatter, it couldn't really go wrong. There was huge payoff in, in the scatter. And it was just, if I didn't remove him, it was just horrible. Like, getting the ball off him was horrible because he moved him in seven vampire. He could have just gone anywhere, you know, so. Exactly. I had no, to, I I didn't had hear to that. remove him. Six double skulls for me. <laughs> oh, yeah, the pro. That. And that's on that's on the uh, thing. How many for him? One. Two. Three. He rolled three, so nine double skulls between us. <laughs> And his pros. Seventy-two percent. Not that. Not that crazy in the end, really. You'd expect five and five, wouldn't you? So, 
in the end it wasn't that crazy his bloodlusts were good yeah i mean so, so, i mean for the longest time i think he had like one failure but about six or so that were successful i think he failed a few more towards the end yeah he did yeah yeah it was it was just the chain to start the game made it tough zero out of four catches well done Two out of six pickups, well done. Zero out of five wake ups, well done. <laughs> Zero out of four catches. <laughs> On the block dies more schools than any other result, obviously. Nearly as many schools as pushers. <laughs> as, as I said in the commentary, I said, You've rolled shit. And I said, Random boys rolled kind of normal. Yeah, but yeah. He only had one boys... super unlucky turn, didn't he? That was all he only yeah. had. Yeah, I think his dice was consistent, which the consistency of it just, yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's unlucky, Jim. I don't yeah. think Brandon Boy played badly, but I don't think you played badly either. I just think it was one of those that was kind of determined by dice. Yeah, I mean, I guess, I guess I made a mistake with the, uh, you know, the turn that I fouled the guy who popped the ball, because he did have those uphills to get dice on the ball and stuff, and like one D's and uphills to get hits on the ball. Whereas I could have just assisted with two more players, and then I would have broken armor as it happened. But obviously, it was still, it was still two assists with dirty players, so it was still like a six plus to break his armor. But a six plus just wasn't that good, was it? Yeah, but what I guess with that is one of those assists would have had to be in the ball carrier, right? Yeah, but I mean, I already think... got hit. The ball got hit anyway, didn't it? You know, he did the chains to hit the ball anyway. So if I if I'd made it a four plus to break armor, then um, then you know maybe that was worth it. So you could argue. That I did that wrong, and um, oh, towards the end, I thought I didn't put, I didn't bracket the throw because I thought I want, I didn't want him to be able to like uphill and pow the tentacles to escape, but um, or even one day the tentacles to escape, you know, potentially. So I thought leaving him a dodge, but the dodge was way likelier to work than the uphill, even though it stopped the tentacles probably. Oh, I don't know. Tentacle, no, no, it was close. I don't know. I think, I think it'd have been worth just practicing them in. I don't, I don't know if Random Boy would have gone for the uphill. Uh, no, he would have done. He would have done. Um, <laughs> so, oh, yeah. I don't know. And he was pretty lucky anyway, right? Because he, he got the uphill and then he was only 50 50 to pocket after that. And then obviously, all my fucking double skulls and fail pickups. Oh, and scatters. I did loads of scatters to try and just catch the ball from the scatters. And then I made a mistake on the uh, on turn eight there, leaving the gap for obviously the inevitable double skulls. I should have uh, I should have moved over in case I rolled double skulls first. Should have maybe just put the guy next to the ball in case I rolled double skulls. So you know you can say maybe I paid a bit shit in overtime, but it was I, still. I, I think a bit of tilt going on with the amount of the double skulls, and I think you're obviously just playing in the, the hopes then that you didn't roll another double skulls. <laughs> yeah. It, it, uh, <laughs> you don't expect them. I don't. I think you, yeah, you can play better to try and stop them, but I think there's got to be a trade-off to you know, playing better to try and stop them, but also playing sensibly to kind of think right. It's probably not going to happen. Yeah, exactly. That's the thing, right? But even then, like um, on on turn fourteen or something, when I rolled another double skulls, I could have blitzed with a strength four guy, and then it would have been three D, and then you know that. But I wanted to move him afterwards, so I don't know. It's, maybe I shouldn't have done. I wanted to GFI with him to hit the vampire. If I'd if I'd got the ball, so maybe I could have played safer at some points. But again, it's not bad. It's just, it's just different pros and cons, isn't it? Anyway, I mean, thank you, fight. thank you very much, uh, Joe, yeah. for the commentary, and um, no thanks for watching, everyone. If you're in, well, no, leave a like and subscribe, or else. Good night. <laughs> thank you, Joe. Or else. <laughs>